What is up guys, Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day right now. I am actually in Miami Beach, Florida with my friend Moosecraft. This is his gold wrapped RA V10. This thing is super sick, carbon fiber wing. Got the branding on point there, but he's added more branding. And this is his editor's car, Ariel. He does some other stuff. He has a YouTube channel. The car is pretty sick, C63S. This special package on there that has the carbon fiber and all the yellow options, the seat belts and stuff. Super nice. His name's Ariel. Go check him out on Instagram if you want. And Moose, of course, for letting me stay at his crib. I'm actually going to be showing you guys the house and everything tomorrow. Going to introduce you to everybody here. It's sort of like an entrepreneur house. Super dope. They're YouTubers. They're doing all kinds of stuff. They're building eSport teams. They're doing all kinds of stuff to build different businesses and start making money in many different ways. And I wanted to make this video with Casey Adams here about branding and how it can relate to e-commerce and sort of how he's built his brand from nothing to a verified page with hundreds of thousands of followers and huge connections. You know, he's been able to meet with Gary Vee, Grant Cardone, Andy Fursell, all these huge entrepreneurs you see online. Line, but he's been able to talk to him, put him on his podcast, do all kinds of crazy stuff, and that's sort of how he's traveling around. So I'm gonna let him come talk about sort of what he does, and we'll talk about how it relates to everything. If you don't know Casey Adams, he's a 17 year old entrepreneur, also involved with personal branding, you know, branding just for companies overall, and now he's getting into some new investments and making oh, yes. some new money. Oh, yeah. So now for this video, bro, I wanna talk a little bit about just branding and e commerce and how it relates. And basically, the difference between building like a short-term brand and a long-term brand. Yeah, for sure. So I mean, I would say anyone that's watching this, when it comes to branding and building a personal brand, there's multiple different things that I think people get confused on when it comes to branding. It's like, all right, if you're, are you branding a product? Are you branding a company? Are you branding yourself? So what a lot what I do is helping people, whether you're an entrepreneur or whatever, I help people build their personal brand, which is pretty much helping them lay out their story on social media. But now, with one of my new ventures, I'm kind of rock, rocking it right here. Build, build your empire. empire. So I am managing a company known as Build Your Empire. It's a media company, so I'm now building that external brand. But um, I would say a lot of the things that people kind of get confused about, especially from personal branding, is just their message. They don't know how they want to be known. They don't know what needs to in. Even if you're starting out and you're like, dude, like I don't have success or I don't, I don't want to, I can't show this or I can't show that. I think the biggest thing is like, dude, showcase your journey. You know, it's like people like Gary Vee or whoever, they're just showing their journey. Like, yeah, they're on some rock star stuff. Like they're freaking killing the game, but dude, like they're just progression. They're progressing just like you are. You know I mean? You may be starting, you may be crushing it right now, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 figures, whatever, but you're still in the journey. You know, everything's the now. And I would say from a branding perspective, it's like, there's no like stopping your brand. You know, it's like if Gary Vee stopped today, his brand stops today. Right? So it's like, what's the longevity of your brand? And that's a critical component just for everyone watching is like, where are you now? Where is your brand now? Where are you going to be in a year? Where is your brand going to be in a year? And I would say it really just comes down to planning it and then obviously what you're doing in the day in and day out. So I know some of you guys are interested in personal branding. Some of you have seen my journey when I started my YouTube channel and where I'm at now, you know, 54,000 subscribers. Again, thank you guys for that. We're growing super fast. 200 subscribers a day we're gaining right now. So I appreciate you guys watching. So some of you, you know, you want to start a personal brand. You don't know, but you don't have a business where you make a lot of money. You know, you don't want to showcase that because you're not making money. But, you know, even if you want to start a business, but you want to start a personal brand, right? You know, show the journey. Show step by step exactly what you're doing. You know, show your failures. Show your wins. And then people will get to see both sides and see what you've done right, what you've done wrong, and how they can learn from it. So document it, whether it's something with art, you know, you like painting, you know, make videos, be creative. Don't just copy someone else. You know, you want to do better than other people so you can perform better and get better results than them. Yes. So, you know, build the brand, show the journey. It's all the process of building the brand. But with e-commerce, I want to talk to Casey a little bit about, you know, how do you build an actual brand? Like, let's say I started an e-commerce company, you know, I sell... Uh, stickers for cars, like whatever it may be. Yeah. You know, how do I build that brand? How do I, you know, get people to see it and build that awareness for people yeah. to actually like want to like it and buy yeah, from yeah. it? Definitely. So I would say regarding kind of let's let's separate them. So it's like you have your personal brand and then you have a brand for a product, like you said, or a company that's not you, but it's a bigger force, right? It's not. It's bigger than you. And I would say, especially from a company standpoint, and Andy Priscilla talks about this all the time, is just one word. It's called culture, right? It's like what is your culture of your brand? How does it make people feel if they look at it and they see the logo? What do they think about? You know, it's like you have to make sure all these points add up the way you want them to, right? It's like if you think about Gatorade, it's like you know the sports drink, you know it hydrates you, and you instantly just know it's all right, it's a good flavor, right? Like you, you have these core branding pillars that whatever brand you look at, you know and think about certain things, and whenever you're creating a brand or a product and trying to create a brand around it, 
you have to really think about before you bring it to market like yo how is it gonna make me feel how is it gonna make the customer feel is it gonna make them like feel weird and they're not gonna vibe with it because of a word and the way it's said you have to make sure that you're just thinking about it from the customer standpoint so you can kind of say like yo how does this make me feel right so it's like exactly. keep it simple it's like whenever you're pushing something to the market ask people test you know it's like i think it was um my buddy dan fleshman he always talks about this it's like yo if you want to sell t-shirts get five t-shirts show them to your friends say yo how does this make you feel does this look good like do you like the logo yes no if they say no and they all say no it should kind of be like you should kind of think back and try to rebrand it in a different way so you start from the scratch with a better starting point you know so it's like I always tell people test with everything, you know, whether it be e-commerce product, whether it be content, Instagram, whatever that may be, test, especially with branding, because even brands like Coca-Cola and Pepsi, they're still reinventing their brand. They're still catching up to the trends. A lot of companies that are huge, like Gary Vee says, missed out on this quote unquote social media wave. So they're currently rebranding their entire company to correlate to a new audience, which is trying to make an audience feel a different way about their brand. And those are for the biggest companies. So if you think you're gonna kind of use a different model and not have to reinvent your brand multiple times, you're not thinking big. You're not thinking how these big, massive companies are because you always have to reinvent your brand, exactly. especially from a product standpoint. You have to innovate. Especially it. from an e-commerce standpoint. Exactly. You know, the strategies six months ago probably aren't gonna work today. Same thing with your personal brand. Like literally, the day that you're recording this right now, the Instagram TV just came out, literally tonight. And like we were just talking about in the car, it's like, dude, like no one really knows what this is yet. But in six months, if you don't have it, it's probably going to be like your brand's going to be lacking, right? Yep. It's like you got to catch on the way. Just keep catching. You just yourself. have to let data lead the way. You can't just base everything off of your emotions. You know, you want to sell this product. You know, you think it looks cool. You know, it's a sticker for this car right here. You think it's going to look sick, but then you know you show it to other people and it's not selling at all. Like you start the company. You know, you have to test it. You know, see. If does it sell, does it not sell? Do people like it, do they not like it? You know, don't just let your emotions lead the way. You know, emotions help you some parts in some aspects of life, but in some other aspects, you know, it leads you in the complete opposite direction. You have to let data back it up. They'll save you a lot of time and a lot of money, a lot of effort, just overall, if you let data lead the way because data is what proves exactly what you want to see. You know, if you want to sell this product and it has 100 orders, you know, that's some data behind it. You know, it has good reviews, people are ordering it. It just all adds up and it leads to some backed up data. It's sort of like building a brand behind the product it's sort of weird to think about I know that's just sort of how it goes with e-commerce yeah. everything personal branding show the journey test let data back up everything yes so and last thing like you said about like about a product if it sounds weird think about Starbucks there's this meme or whatever on Instagram I see all the time where it's like a normal cup of coffee like it's like a dollar right yeah Starbucks cup of coffee is like five dollars and like literally all it is is the logo. a different sticker on the cup that makes you feel a certain way and perceive it as a higher quality. Even though the coffee may taste better, it may be worse, it's branding at its finest. Use it for your product. Why do you think Rolls Royce and all these companies charge so much money for their cars? Like this car, The bro. brand, right? <laughs> the dang brand. Simple, Gucci, right? It's same leather as probably a nice wallet that's 80 bucks. Gucci puts a snake on it. They brand it around the name Gucci. They make it, make you feel like it's valuable and therefore it is right it's exactly. like exactly per perceived value is value because that's exactly what and is. then that's how you build the higher profit margins on your stores you make more money because if you find a product you don't really brand you don't really create ads that are based around your company then you're not going to have high profit margins you know the perceived value is not going to be seen as high as what it could be if you actually branded it and took the action that needed to be taken in order to build a brand because building a brand it takes time but at the same time when you're building a brand it'll lead to higher profit margins more business more sales more money and everything will get better so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. My boy Casey Adams, make sure you go follow him on Instagram. He's a beast. Go check and, it out. And uh, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.